So on this episode of Scrapyard Choppers, big announcement involving this thing right here. And I'm just going to show you what's going on around the shop. It's been a little bit since I posted. I've gotten extremely busy, which is a good thing because I've been broke. So things have gotten a lot better around here. So stay tuned for that. So I thought I'd start off with this amazing thing. This is my buddy's rat rod. I've been working on it for a while. We've gotten to the point now where it needs to be driven and it's snowing in Michigan, which sucks, of course. But we just put a new distributor cap on it, put a MSC coil in it, trying to get it. It has like a weird miss at the higher RPMs. We did that and it actually made it worse. So we're gonna check timing. We rebuilt the carburetor, had a bunch of sand in it, put new spark plug wires in it, checked over the motor, just made sure it was okay. He ended up getting it a little hot sometime or some time ago. So we just, you know, kind of going over everything, doing redoing some of the wiring because the dash has been moved a bunch of times in it. Yeah, it's a manual. 454 standard bore. Awesome headers. Got roller rockers on it. Nice carburetor. I love this gas tank air filter. Well, there's actually an air filter element in there. It's hard to see. And then they cut all this out. We made the grill. Yeah, this thing is an iconic Detroit rat rod. That is for sure. There's nothing else on the face of the planet like this. And I love having it in my shop. Let's see if we can get this stuff come through got skulls everywhere badass gauges PBR back window bamboo that's right fuel tank radiator radiator dual radiators keeps it nice and cool as long as everything's working it's also got dual water pumps so you can see that there's one right there and then it's got the one on the front of the motor but it's just in for a freshen up. We're probably gonna have it done as soon as the weather gets nice and we can drive it again because we've just been working on it. The shop's also a mess. We've been slowly cleaning it, moving things around, rearranging. Yeah, that's a mess. We'll get there. That's all derby stuff and some other random things. And then, drum roll, big car. This is going to Autorama. It'll be at Autorama next week in the basement. So if you want to come meet me and see the car in person, come on down to Autorama in Detroit. We're also going to have some bicycles down there. That's up next. I'll show you that here in a minute. But big announcement. This magnificent thing is going to Cletus and Cars in Indianapolis in the spring. I'm going to do the burnout contest. I'm going to destroy a perfectly good set of tires. And I mean destroy them if they let me go i'll go to the rims and then blow the rims off the thing and they gonna hurt it none yeah cletus and cars indy it's big time stuff this channel is gonna grow massively real fast so if you haven't subscribed yet you should probably hit that subscribe button once i hit a thousand subscribers i'm giving away a chance to drive a demolition derby car so not only do you get to follow this channel and see awesome content like this thing doing a massive burnout in the spring, but you get a chance to drive a demolition derby car. So let's go to the office and see some stuff in there. So not only will the figure eight car be an autorama, but I'm bringing that bicycle down that I started in the last episode, which you haven't seen yet. Well, just stop this video, go watch the last episode. What are you doing? But I finally got a full set of Kragers, which I'm going to cut in half and weld together in the next episode. Got these parts turned on my buddy's lathe, so they fit a press sealed bearing, which is going to be sweet, because bicycle bearings don't last when you have wheels like this. 
yeah, I'll insert a picture of the bike just so you see where it's going. And then TJ, he's working on a swing bike. It's painted, but it's it, it needs. We're gonna have to go back over it. We're gonna have to wet sand it down. Give it a second coat. Just kind of go over it, and that should be together. That'll be done in Autorama. This will be at Autorama. No, it's Friday. These all have to be done by Wednesday, including the figure eight car. It needs a shifter cable. Forgot to mention that while I was out there. So also while I'm going around the shop, let's look at some other projects that are sitting out here. This is my 84 Chevy frame, right there. That's a 55 Ford uh, cab and front clip. Front clip center on the corner. And then it's set up for 12 valve Cummins. That's sitting inside. Hopefully, this is next. I really want to get it done. That's going to be my new figure eight car hauler. And then we got my 74 Chevelle, all covered up and snug as a bug for winter. The motor and trans need to come out of this. The motor needs valve seals and it's got a best up flex plate and a screwed up starter. So I'm just going to pull it all out and we're going to go through it. I've got the circle track car. It's waiting its turn. It, it, it's a priority for sure. We gotta build a really nice motor for it, a nice transmission. Ah, I really wanna race this at least once this year. Hopefully more than once. I mean, it, I'm gonna have to buy tires. I gotta modify the roll cage. This stuff has to go and the seat has to go back because I don't fit in this car at all. So. This is definitely a priority, and then this thing's for sale. If anyone wants some Corvette suspension, hit me up. And then we got TJ out here, working his ass off, trying to clean cars. What do you think of this one? I actually like the high country. I don't know what the different package is though. It's probably the leather or something. Yeah, we're, we don't know, we detail cars for a living. This is in here, getting cleaned. So he needs to be buffed and waxed and the window's done. He's doing the inside right now. My bike frame's laying right here upside down. But yeah, just working away for a living. That's what's going on in the shop. Are you treating that leather or are you just wiping it off? Getting the dirt off. Then you're going to treat it? Yep. Sweet. I'm going to go back in here. So on top of getting the bicycles ready. We're getting our trophies ready because I run the bicycle show down there so I gotta give trophies away. These are two of the trophies that you can win for coming to the bicycle show. I handmade that one and that one. So the bicycle show at Autorama is a really good time. Next weekend you should be coming down to Autorama. Come see me. I'll be next to my car most of the time unless we're walking around looking at stuff. Be there all weekend. Be by the bicycles. I mean... This thing is going to be insane. It's a daunting project to make this wheel double-sided. So hopefully it's worth it in the end. Yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to be filming it later today. Just wanted to give you a quick update of what's going on around the shop. Like I said, I'm going to Cletus Cars to do the burnout contest in Indianapolis. That's huge for me. I'm really excited. I do got some work to do. If any of you out there got a shifter cable, I could use one just to borrow I just have to be able to move the car in and out of Autorama. And then I'm changing the shifter setup after Autorama. I also got these motor mounts to put in after Autorama. Don't mind the sub, that's junk. So yeah, that's what's going on. New episode, building the, finish the bicycle. Should drop early next week, hopefully. Hopefully I get it done. Only got like five days. And I also gotta clean the figure eight car. Not too worried about that, but I'd like to get it kind of cleaned up. So that's it for this episode of Scrap Air Choppers. I'll see you next time.